Hi, peoples. Billy the Crayon here. I'm in the Hunter. But, that's a nice moose. But, problem is, one thing, this scope is way too, uh... Ooh, there's what I'm looking for. Bingo. Nice! He is down! Holy crap, I was not expecting to be able to find one of those things. <laughs> I was looking at that moose there, because, uh... He looked nice and everything. I could have got him, but, uh... I, uh... I was ultimately here for a fox. They're released, finally. Uh... It's about time. We've been waiting quite a bit for them. Uh, it's a bit... From what I could tell, it seems like, uh, retex from, uh... The coyote, for the most part. But to me, they it looks exactly like a red fox, so I'm happy with it. Pretty sure that'll be the only one that I'm going to get, but this is also a brand new weapon. This is the, two, the .223 Nosler Ballistic Tip uh, round. So yeah, this is a two two three bolt action. Uh it uses the uh scopes from the um uh, and shoots and they also released a brand new scope, a twelve by fifty millimeter scope. This thing is dramatically better. But anyways, let's get down there and get looking at him. I wasn't expecting to see one just as I started recording. If that was the case, I would have I would have started recording earlier. <laughs> but uh, it's a good thing though because I have to go soon. So I got to go to bed for work, and then from there I gotta get ready. Uh, pack and start packing the next day because I have to uh, catch a flight. I'm heading to Toronto for a uh, for a vacation. Is this his? Yeah, that's some red fox poo. Before I actually click on him, I wanna wanna see some uh, footprints too, just to see. They're probably pretty much the same as the coyote, but see movement over there. in case but I doubt it but yeah I was gonna log in and do a uh, video on uh, this is probably the moose tracks here but I was gonna do a quick little channel update just to let you guys know what's going on uh, things like that because of the flight but then I seen that uh, expansive worlds released this so released uh, the new animal and new weapon so right on that is the red tra the uh, red fox tracks basically the same as the coyotes so well, these ones looks th they do look smaller so from what I could tell. I remember the, uh, I'm pretty certain the coyote tracks are a lot, like the coyote paws are a lot bigger. Anyways, let's go and capture him, or harvest him, whatever you want to call it. It's 
nice to me. Or she, whatever. Got a nice, uh, nice long shot with the uh, new 223, which is basically a varmint rifle. You can only use it to hunt coyotes, red fox, uh, roe deer, and uh, turkey. You cannot use it to hunt pheasant or anything larger than a uh, roe deer. But yeah, let's uh, get this. And I got the wooden uh, bolt action rifle. There's also a marble variant as well, which is the exact same thing. Uh, so you do have that option. Whoa! <laughs> Oh man, I gotta keep that. That is an awesome derp face. <laughs> Looks like it just like went past where it was comfortable going and uh Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely some um, artifacting going on there. You can take a huge chunk out of something. Yeah, that is my first red fox. Now, let me... I doubt I can. Okay, I can. Because I want to show you guys something real quick. I want to... Uh, I want to show you how powerful this scope really is, because it is something else. This will make you buy one right here and now. Most, oh, not really, but like, um, it's definitely a really powerful scope. Honestly, I will probably, for the most part, stick with the other ones because you can actually use this for all of the Anschutz rifles, which I couldn't believe when I first heard that. But I am, but uh, that is pretty awesome. But, like I say, it's, uh, I, uh, don't think it's going to be extremely practical. Because, let me just show you here real quick. Uh, zoom down here. To... Okay. It's best look I'll get, I know, for some of you guys that uh, are the big uh, animation weirdos that want them to uh, revert back to the uh, gun being two inches from your nose uh, animations, but... Anyways, yeah, this is the... Uh, the 9x3 scope and this is the closest that it will zoom in to uh, those rocks there right at the top of that hill just so you can see that I will equip this scope And that is much closer, as you can as you can tell. 
It's a lot closer than uh, the way it was before. So, but it doesn't have any variance to it. You cannot zoom in or and zoom out like you could with the other ones. So this one is really for uh, stretched back targets. As you can see, it worked fairly well. It worked well well enough for me when I was uh, shooting that fox at close range or closer range. But like, it can be a, a bit disorienting and re a little harder to use when you're zoomed in. But yeah, that is basically the uh, the new uh, the new species. As you see, I basically went. If you're looking for one, where I found mine was, uh, this is the South Lodge in Hemeldal. And uh, I just went to this uh, very first tower to the east of that lodge. And that's what I just did some random calls. And sure enough, I drew that one in. So... It worked out. But anyways, I just wanted to explain a few things. Um, I'm hoping my uh, warband guys are going to be watching this and stuff because, like I said, I'm going on vacation. I'm going to be gone for about 10 days, which means there's no up. I'm not going to be able to uh, upload any videos. So what I'm hoping to do is actually upload some uh, like upload some ahead of time and then that way they're there for um, while I'm gone and I'll have them uh, release on a scheduled release so basically you'll always have something to watch kind of a thing that same one Oh, he's far off. I don't have time for him. Unfortunately. But, yeah. Um, basically, what's going to happen over the next uh, few days, the next 11 days or so, is I'm going to be... Uh, going to be trying to... Uh, have them uploaded for you so you can watch them but I'm also going to be uploading uh, five previous episodes of Warband these episodes have uh, never been uploaded to my channel I uploaded them to uh, TGN Let's Play to try to get some uh, um, just to try to draw some uh, viewers uh, towards that channel uh, back when I was managing that and uh, back when we first started that channel basically but since then I moved everything back to like I moved the let's play back to my personal channel uh, this one and I just uh, kept going from there so uh, I, I never actually uploaded them to this channel I want to do that because then I can put them in a proper playlist so people can see view them easier and see the whole playlist easier. So hopefully that will work out. But I wanted to let you guys know ahead of time because I am not going to... Uh, because when I upload it, I'm going to be letting you guys know, but... Uh, there, there'll be uh, an annotation there and everything, but I know a lot of people don't read that stuff. But basically, it's if you've watched the whole Warband series, you've already seen these episodes. Um, there's five of them, and I was not with the Nords at... Why can I not climb this? There we go.
but yeah, so that's going to be uploaded. I have a few uh, a few of each, basically. I got some Warband and some Euro Truck. Uh, that's going to be pretty much it. There's n this will probably be the only Hunter video, and this is going up today. Uh, but yeah. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up about that. Also, because of this, I'm not going to be able to respond to uh, comments on my videos too much when I'm gone. So don't expect me to be able to do that. However, if you do want to get in touch with me or ask me uh, questions, things like that, the best way to do it nowadays is on Twitter because I'm mostly going to be on my uh, cell phone. I, I always have that on me even when I'm at work and all that stuff. And I like to respond to stuff from there. However, the problem is um, YouTube apps it YouTube sucks ass on mobile phones completely like I can you I'm not able to uh, um, reply to a specific comment from my phone at all whether it's on Chrome or uh, any other browsers or on the YouTube app itself so because of that I am saying uh, I'm, I'm just just wanted to let you guys know that uh, if you just want to get in touch with me, the best way, the most efficient way, uh, where I might be able to respond quicker is on Twitter. Uh, my tw uh, link to my Twitter is in the description. Um, it's Billy the Crayon, just like everything else, so feel free to contact me on that. Now, a few questions. There's going to be some questions that I'm not going to answer. Um... If you ask me questions about hunting with me, um, I'm not going to be answering that. I already answered that in a previous video. And I'll just state it again. It's, uh, I don't have time to do it with, to hunt with everybody. So I'm really, uh, just cherry picking friends that I know personally and other YouTubers that we can so we can spread the word of the hunter uh, about the hunter uh, better and things like that uh, um, so yeah that is basically my stance on hunting with you guys I'd love to I wish I could but unfortunately I don't have the time I, I have like too much uh, like I'm at work or I'm uh, playing games and I, like, I don't have I have too many games that I like to play and everything I cannot be on this constantly and only with uh, with you guys because if I if I do start hunting with one then all of you would would want me to hunt with you and I, I, I just I can't it's it's not in the cards I apologize about that. Uh, another quest, another type of question that I won't really be answering is if you have any technical issues with the Hunter or any of the other games. Uh, and if, if you need some kind of advice because of that, I thought I just saw something, but it's probably just a shadow. But, uh, yeah, if you're having problems with your uh, with the hunter crashing or uh, the launcher not working properly or something like that, or if you want to know about uh, your if it'll work on your system, go to the hunter forums. Uh, there's no point in asking me at all. I'm not technical support. I don't work for 
uh, expansive worlds. Uh, they don't pay me or anything like that. Uh, technical support is their job. Uh, as well, you will find some people that uh, will help you in the forums as well. Just go to the forums and um, there will be the bug report forums. There's also the uh, technical support like uh, forums and you can click on there and post your uh, question. It's good to search first because chances are if you're having an issue there's probably a lot of other people having the same issue. So it's always good to search first uh, just to see because you might find others. And be as uh, as specific as possible about your problem. Let them know exactly what it's saying, what's happening, uh, any uh, info about your system, your setup, and all that stuff. Anything that's changed since the last time you played, uh, all that stuff. Um, that way it helps them out uh, as far as helping you out. Because the more you can narrow down the problem, the easier it is for them to uh, troubleshoot it and all that stuff. So, yeah, don't don't ask me technical questions or anything like that. That's uh, I want to leave that up to them because I've gotten a lot of questions about uh, that kind of stuff too. Uh, with, with new players that are getting into it, again, I'd love to help you, but. I cannot sit here and answer a whole bunch of technical support questions or try to walk you through it or anything like that because like that it just it takes up too much time. <laughs> but uh yeah, other than that, I will pretty much try to answer your questions. Uh I have no problem answering questions or anything. It's just certain ones I get an awful lot, and this, the answer is going to be the same for every one. So I want to make sure you know, like for those two specific questions uh, or types of questions, uh, you have your answer. Um, also, for anyone that's going to ask what my what color crayon I am. Uh, just think red, which is the color that shows up all around my screen whenever I'm playing Call of Duty. They keep getting shot all the time. And that basically covers most of the questions that I get. <laughs> uh, but yeah, feel free to ask. I'll try to answer on Twitter if I can. Uh, if I can't, I apologize. Or if, if I uh, don't respond, I apologize. Uh, I might miss some. Or I'll... Uh, uh, chances are I'll be asleep or something like that. I will try to get to your uh, questions, though. So feel free to ask and uh, stalk me on Twitter and all that good stuff. And yeah. Uh, that's going to be it for now. This will be the last video that I create before um, before I go away. So uh, I'll see you on the other side. I'll let you know how uh, Toronto is. Hopefully I won't need my hip waders. <laughs> I recently had a bit of a flood there. But yeah, that is going to be it for now. And until next time, guys, have a good one.